Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. This has been going quite well for us lately, I think. I'm pretty proud of the progress we've made, actually, if I'm completely honest. Uh, and just every time I sit down to play this game, I am uh, I'm excited to try, sort of see what challenges come up. Uh, you know, for the upcoming session and see how things progress based on our plans and, uh, of course, you know, how those plans align or don't align. Today, we are going to hopefully see the conclusion of the coal processing plant over here, uh, the con conclusion of that project, I hope, and uh, we'll get all the uh, sort of, you know, transfer and stuff set up over here as well. A little bit of construction that we'll pay for, no problem. But with this done and a little hookup action over here going down, we should be able to, uh, well, we should solve our coal problem, which again will be a huge benefit to us, a huge benefit in uh, preventing our... Uh, you know our economy from suffering now we've been doing quite well we are at 1.2 right now at the start of this session and i'm really curious to see if we can actually beat that a little bit if we can go a little bit higher uh do a little bit better because um if we can hit 1.3 today that would be ridiculous i have my doubts uh i have my doubts about hitting 1.3 but um we can definitely try it. Like, let's see, we were, we're, we're making 28k so far this month. We're only a little bit through it. Last month we made 55. I mean, if we get through two months and stick with that positive flow of cash, then we should definitely uh, be okay. Now, right now it's definitely feeling like a better than a 55k month, but of course that will obviously change as... Uh, as new construction projects and stuff get set down. And there are some new construction projects that I think I'm going to start planning right now. Well... We'll wait until the uh, the sun comes up again, but I will start planning some of the new construction projects so that uh, you know we're, we're sort of doing something, we're developing and planning as existing constructions continue. Now, some of you in the comments were suggesting that maybe we start cutting a bit more, maybe we start removing uh, certain aspects and uh, you know quieter times or or, or uh, slower times in in the game, which I'm definitely not averse to. But what I find or what I try to do at least is approach things in a very uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for here is like, uh, 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 I, I enjoy the design process myself. Uh, I enjoy having the conversation about what's going down where and why and then spotting the flaws and the issues and then trying to fix them as they come up and having all of that sort of on show rather than pretending like everything's going perfectly smoothly. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys would prefer and uh, we can sort of find a nice happy like middle ground. I want to make sure that everyone's enjoying obviously. Uh, and on that note, if you are enjoying, please do not hesitate to let me know. Leave those likes and comments down below. It's great to see so many of you tuning in every week to uh, give another episode to watch it's always nice to see the uh comments and the reactions to my strange uh you know dictatorial statements for example uh but yeah it's, it's always it's always a joy to read through comments and i just like knowing what you guys are thinking of course now apart from coal actually the other problem we're going to solve not today but sometime soon perhaps after the coal problem is the iron problem there is some iron ore to be found in this area i forget exactly where but we, uh, thanks to the minimap having the new functionalities, uh, we learned that somewhere over here, it's gonna, just, just to rejig our memory a little bit, uh, it is, whoops, here, uh, oh, iron, there we go, it's somewhere over here, there is a little bit, little bit of a, there we go, vein. So we're going to take advantage of that. It's not the best, but it's a little something to help uh, ease our burden, ease our import costs. And after we're done with that, obviously, there's a much better uh, vein, well, rather, I should say, set of veins down over here. Uh, where are we? There we go. Somewhere over here. So it's a lot farther than I remember it being. That, and that's kind of why I want to take advantage of the one that I'm next to, because uh, this is so far away. It's a long journey. We might actually have to build a second city over here. Uh, and we'll connect the two, I think. We'll try to make it like a real nation where, you know, we have roads or trains and stuff connecting all the parts. But this is going to be very expensive in and of itself. And apart from that, actually, we also have oil that we want to consider as an option. We are paying for oil imports right now and fuel imports. Oil and oil byproducts, I suppose, is the best way to phrase it. Well, not so much. Let's look at last month as a better example. Like, fuel's kind of pricey. Oil, we're not spending all that much as you guys look at the clouds up here. Sorry. Might as well give you something more interesting to look at. 
Um, so, you know, they're, they're not the highest priorities, but we can make a fair bit of money through export. And we do have the oil deposits over here, um, which, well, I mean, I guess we can use this now. We've got some pretty good oil deposits over here and even further along over here. So there's a lot of oil to be um, harvested, I suppose, and then we can cut down on some of our costs. And I've been talking about that for a while. I know that was my primary focus, but then the uh, the fabric factory uh, took so very long. And now that it's up and running, you know, we're actually in a good spot. Chemicals hopefully are coming through soon. Um, I know I gave the order for the chemical truck to get moving. There we go. Did you not just deliver? Oh, we need more. We need more chemicals. Did you? Did you not just? Okay, no, that's the wrong truck. Uh, you're the other one, I think. No, you. You. There we go. You're coming down, right? You're still up over here. You're still loading up. I take it. That's a lot of time wasted, unfortunately. That's the one thing I need to figure out is uh. Getting more workers up here to work a little bit faster and export chemicals a little bit faster. Well, rather produce, not export necessarily. Because uh, I do need that moving down to here so that we're able to make fabric, so that we're able to make clothes. Because right now, we're at a standstill in one of our most important industries, and that is not okay. I wonder if we buy some chemicals. It does cost a fair bit of money to purchase chemicals. Uh, one ton, three tons, six thousand. It's not the end of the world. Go ahead and do that. Let's get it in there so we can get the fabric. Like, we need to get this flowing because we're losing money by not spending that 5k or whatever it was, 6k. We were losing money, so I'd rather just get this going over here. I'm glad to see this bypass is working. Not the prettiest bypass, but, you know, it does the trick. The other thing that I want to do is actually you are going to go back home. Where are we? Go to the depot. Go to the depot. We're going to change some things up here. Uh, one of my biggest issues, and I think it's slowing us down a fair bit, is that we have two trains that go all the way back to here and then all the way over to the export. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have one train uh, pick up food. It'll be this train. This train is going to pick up food, meat, alcohol, clothes, and fabric. It is not going to pick up bricks. Right, we're going to actually get rid of that. It's going to go through the lane up over here, past this station, and straight to export with all of that. Because that right there is like, what, 13k, roughly. It's about to go a little bit higher because we're going to cross over and get up over here, pick up some clothes and whatnot. Oh, we have none. Yeah, because we've been waiting on those chemicals for so long. Uh, this is kind of why I like not editing, because these are conversations that I feel like I might edit out, and then we don't know why certain decisions get made. Nonetheless, uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a weaker ride i suppose we could run but you know 13k per cycle is not bad and it'll happen smoother because uh these guys are gonna go they're gonna bypass this we're not gonna hopefully we're not gonna have that struggle over here where the trains get stuck over here because the other train should in theory be coming here flipping around and going back down in theory we're gonna find out it's very possible that that train's going to want to push over here and go all the way down and do a loop or something crazy like that, but I hope not, because that would be very painful. I hope I'm not wasting uh, resources and time in doing that. Now, the reason why I brought it back over here is so that I could get rid of some of these uh, trains that are slowing us down. Well, some of these... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cars that are slowing us down. Now, mechanical components... Okay, this one's completely useless, so we can get rid of that, right? Steel, prefab boards, wood, bricks, okay? You, I'll keep this because eventually we want to start exporting coal again. So I will keep this one. I'll keep this one. And this one is tempting to keep because eventually when we're doing mechanical components, I'd like to export them. Same goes for electronic components. And I could store it at that same warehouse. Okay. Now, at that point in time, I can bring this train back, but... Now let's leave it be. Let's let's leave it be. Okay, so that's you. You're all set up, changing your designation and your duty over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this, and let's get rid of this. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unload everything, rinse and repeat, begin, and hopefully uh, this smooths things out a little bit. Again, that's the biggest concern is that this needs to be smoothed out. Um, this is going pretty well, I think. We are keeping livestock. 
I was about to say alive and well, but that's very much not true. Like I said, last session, meat's back on the menu. Uh, looks like we're doing a good job of maintaining that. Got a fair bit of meat stock. Meat stock. Wow. Wow, isn't that a dystopia? Meat stock, that's what we call it. So if we get enough livestock there uh, in time to ship it up, hopefully the meat problem is going to... Oh, yeah, it's been solved. It's been solved. Where is our vehicle that actually picks it up and delivers it? I guess it's not working. Where are you getting your meat from? You're not importing it. Why? Where's the... Hold on now. You've got meat. You're not importing it. The train is picking it up right now. Yeah. Okay, and this train is going... Wait, hold on a second. What just picked up that meat? You did. So why are you not listed under this? It should be listed as a uh, vehicle that... Uh... Anyways, I mean, it is what it is. Why are we stuck over here? Oh. Luck. Luck is why we're stuck over here. Turn you around. Should hopefully be able to swap over to the other side. Get into the station. This will be stuck still. This will have to pass through. Yeah, this is just bad luck, basically, right now. We'll sort that out. Uh, now, alright, so this vehicle is going to the shopping center over here. This is this one. That's where all the meat's going. But we do need to get meat elsewhere as well. Like, do we have any meat coming up to... Not the pub. Not the school. I hope not. There we go. And we're importing meat over here. So maybe you... Rather than just dropping it off over here, maybe you should unload 50% up there. It's just three tons of meat. Maybe I need to buy another one. Yeah, let's buy another one to deliver to the other destination. Let's go ahead and purchase. I have so many menus open right now. Holy crap. Uh, it's not just a covered hull, is it? It's a... It's got to be a refrigeration. There we go. Three tons. Let's go ahead and get this one, the 6.5 tonner. It'd be cheaper to get two of these, actually. Or three of these I need to get. Not cheaper. Yeah, two. Now, okay, fine. Let's go ahead and get one of these. Because it's... Uh, I want to try and deliver more meat with this one. Let's go ahead and get you starting over... Nowhere near the right spot. Over here. Pick up the meat. Yep. And then I want you to go over to the shopping center. We're gonna unload 50%. Well, actually, let's make it 33% because it's, or 30%-ish. And over here, you're gonna unload the rest. There, and you loop back. Let's get that going. Because we gotta get meat to the masses over here as well, all right? So that's that. Let's go ahead and sort this problem out now. And let's get rid of you. Okay. Let's see. You are able to Loop around, let's go. I just want to I want to get the cycle done, because it needs to get done. Are you going to pass through? Are you going to come through over here? You should be able to roll through as soon as these trains pass through. Once you get past that, I believe this train will be able to move through. Or maybe it's going to wait until this train comes over this way. Should be fine either way. Now you're going to be able to pick up some clothes this run, which is good. God, clothes help so much, holy crap. It's going to be a 10k run, nice. Yeah, you're coming through. You're going to cross over this way. These people are just going to walk through this train. Not a problem. Not too upset about that. Don't worry about it. Oh, now we're stuck here. Okay, well, let's loop you back again. Just a little bit of awkwardness as this train makes its way over. Not a problem. It's not going to happen again. I'm fine with micromanaging it that one time. All right, people are going to arrive over here. These buses are hopefully still full. Yep, very much so. This is good. Very happy with how train wreck ski is working out. They've uh, made themselves sustainable, I believe, and I'm glad I purchased the chemicals there. Hopefully the, uh, vehicle... No, not this one. That's not the one I want. I want this one. Buddy, you are still stuck over here? You're still loading up? My god. Maybe I should just do 50% loads. We have no workers here. That's a problem, too. I wonder if we need another bus that takes people up there. Because right now... This bus is going up there with 55 people. 
This bus just dropped off, what, nobody? Are you serious? Yeah, see, that's a problem. I wish you could schedule stuff. Okay, cement export's still happening. I don't think we're gonna hit 1.3 this session, if I'm completely honest. And I wonder if a second... Not a second, but an additional bus here makes sense. Well, they kind of like, they loop over to there. Now this bus stop is full, and this bus is gonna be down here by the time hopefully this train arrives with 156 passengers. This is something I want to sort out. Wait, why are you stuck here? There you go. Dude, why did it wait so long? That's that's something that really kind of bums me out. You come out of there. You go through here pretty quickly. That's kind of weird. Just need to smooth that out a little bit. Now this is going to go ahead and take you over to the coal mine. I guess perfect-ish timing. Ish. It's only taking 29 people, though. That's not so ideal. But holy crap, we're topped up. Okay, that's good. What's the deal over here? Looks like we've made progress. Road's almost done. Yep. And also, again, it was suggested in the comments that I should uh, build roads... Build dirt roads first so the construction can start and then pave up the roads. Good point. It was mentioned before as well. It just must have slipped my mind. Uh, but alright, so we fixed the train problem, hopefully, right? That shouldn't be an issue anymore. We've got this train that is loading up on, yep, bricks and boards from here. So slow to drain. That's one thing that I need to figure out as well, is just like, getting this to happen a little bit faster. I believe that's the fastest connection we can make. It's just a slow connection. How much you can do about that. More bricks are coming through. Our, our rate of production of bricks seems to be, holy crap, perfect. More than. We're self-sustaining in terms of construction and we're able to export, so that's good. Over here, what's up? We are dropping off crops and livestock. Yes, livestock is being made into meat. A little bit faster, maybe. Meat is being loaded up right away onto this train. And it's going to go and export it. I don't know how I feel about that. Because all the livestock got used up. Oh, were you carrying all the livestock? I wonder if we could do something... Like, we could hypothetically have another train that just brings livestock up to here. We would have to contend with that train. This station quickly becomes a very busy station. It's a little concerning. I don't know how I feel about that. Because every loop is now getting topped up a bit more in terms of how much livestock we actually have. You're able to carry how much? 46 tons. That's like not going to happen anytime soon. The other option I have, of course, is... Uh, we got 50 people here right now. I wonder how many people had nowhere to go once they got here. Oh, firefighters. We don't need 12 firefighters down here, right? Like... The reason why I say that is because maybe we could actually get another livestock farm here. And uh, that would be in our best interest. Because right now, okay, let's see. This train is down over here. It's going to load on up. It's going to get, what, at most six tons of, uh, of livestock? Okay, maybe seven. Seven point something. Yeah, see, right now we're, like, kind of struggling here. Producing as fast as possible. Crops almost loaded up. And I guess this is okay. I guess this works. If I could produce livestock faster, though, it would just make sure that the meat can, keeps keeps going. Well, the other thing I could do is reduce how much meat we actually take off our plates uh, to export. That's the other option as well, of course. This train is finally moving. Holy crap, overnight loading. 3k every run? I don't know how I feel about that. That's the other thing I have to figure out is like, is that is that a worthwhile run, right? 3k, very short haul though. So it should be happening relatively quickly compared to, you know, getting stuck every once in a while. And our steel train, of course, is a real moneymaker. Sitting here with another 20k waiting to go. Pretty good. And over here, what's the deal? Finally, this construction is being worked on. Yep, both construction sites have been assigned. No workers or mechanism. Uh, I do have a bus stop, by the way, for those of you that were asking. Uh, this construction office has a bus, and it's been assigned, I think, this bus stop up there. But the other thing is that when workers arrive at a nearby bus stop, they will actually walk over 
to the uh, to the to the construction site. So all I need is people arriving here, and you can see two people here look like they might be headed. Damn it! <laughs> They're both headed up there. How many buses actually come here? Three. Ah, uh, these buses are not getting the best uh, holes, eh? Mm, I'm wondering. I don't think we have a population problem. Unemployment is still pretty rampant. So it's not that... Not that we don't have enough people. Hmm. Just a matter of location and timing. Pretty cool seeing all these, uh... I hate that they come in one at a time. It just looks a little less... real, I suppose. And on the flip side, I guess people aren't being brought here right now because we don't really need... No, we still need workers. We still need workers. More asphalt coming through, more gravel coming through, concrete. Yeah, it's all good. A lot more needed. A lot more. That's going to take some time to build. I could rush it, but it would take us well below our 1.2 that we were so proud to be at, so I don't think I really want to do that. Uh, okay, train solved. This is solved. Yep, yep, yep. Let's... I was thinking we could start planning our iron... Uh, mine situation because not only do we need the mine we also need the uh, processing plant up there um, so either that or we get our distribution network set up over here so once this is done I will leave that for later actually let's try and figure out the whole iron thing right not gonna build anything we just want to plot it out and actually before I get to that sorry I just realized I need to go ahead and get some trees planted in this general area. We've got our uh, woodcutters and stuff without any trees to cut. Oh, might as well go ahead and put some trees down. I believe that covers our area. I forget exactly. Well, there's a way to check the area that it covers, and now I've forgotten. Either way. Either way, we should be fine. We should be fine there. Um... Okay, we're fine. I wonder if I do want to complete this construction project finally. Get some more people. You know, help smooth some things out. Just the prefab panels, and I don't know why they keep disappearing. Without actually being used anywhere. They're just gone again. Oh, no, not from here. From here. They're just gone again. We're not exporting them or anything. Like, you're not picking them up. Let's go ahead and import 77... I don't know. All right, here. Purchase. Well, oh, hang on now. Here. Jeez, that that took a couple clicks. Seventy tons, eighty-four tons. Twenty-six hundred. Don't be a waste of my money. Oops. There we go. 70. There we go. Now we got 78. There. That should be smooth. That should all be used to build this. That should be the right amount. Now over here as well, we've got some construction going on. Not as much of a priority though, so I don't mind that it's going slowly. This is all the extra kindergartens and stuff like that. Good stuff. Progress being made over here. Are you actually dropping people off? No, you don't have anybody in your actual bus, so maybe you don't waste everybody else's time standing there looking pretty. All right, fine, fair enough. Now, the question, the other question becomes how we transport uh, iron down to here, and I think the answer, oh wow, look at that 60k coming through. The answer to that question is there are conveyor belts that we can use. Uh, this steel mill still has, what we'll probably do is shift this over to here and use one of these for uh, coal. I think that'll be ideal because then that frees this one up to uh, come up from way over here and actually bring uh, bring down the, the, the iron ore. Uh, so iron and iron ore will be processed up over here. We will need to make a system to get people up there. I think what we'll probably do is uh, make this area a bit busier. This area does need to be made busier. Uh, we're going to get some more housing done. The houses will hopefully be able to walk on over to the train station. Yep. Yep. Good. 
these guys will all be able to make it not these guys but the, the the new setup there will all be able to make it to the train platform from the train platform we'll get them all the way up to here uh off here into the bus platform from where they will be taken up around loop maybe up and over to the iron okay cool just getting it all sorted in my head uh, just so we don't make any foolish mistakes as we lay all this out. So the iron mine, oh, it's actually a lot closer than I realized, which is good. I'm not complaining. That is not a complaint. The iron mine will go down somewhere over here. There we go. Right? That close. <laughs> uh, we could do something like this, I suppose. It's also not a lot of, uh, like from a quantity perspective, it's not that great. We'll just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and... We don't have any free excavators. God damn. I guess we'll have to wait a little bit because they're all working over here right now. They're all working over here. Like the three musketeers. The the three... I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, but it does look pretty cute. There we go. Working away. Dude back there just taking... Dumping, dumping away. This just makes for a cute little thumbnail, I think. And now you, now you guys have moved. You have to go ahead and move. There, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hopefully they'll actually speed up a little bit and get this done a little bit faster, because otherwise uh, this is going to take forever. We could go up to double speed. Oh, hold on, before we do. Just want to check 63k. We beat last month. So, you know, at that rate, we could be hitting 1.3 soon. All right, let's go ahead and speed this up, though. Uh, just so that we're actually making progress here. Otherwise, it'll probably actually literally take forever. We'll never see it done. Right, I have to wait for these excavators to get done. It's, I mean, it's, it's cool to see them here and stuff. I wonder if I want to buy more. I don't think I want to buy more. I've already got so many. Patience is a virtue, right? Patience is a virtue. What's going on down over here? Has the prefab panel shipment been delivered? No. Is it still up over here? Hopefully not at the bus stop. Up over here? Yes. But some of them have been taken. More are being taken right now. What are you carrying? Oh, that's why. No. Bad truck. That's where it's all going. I'm literally just buying it and reselling it. Was I making a profit out of that? Because that is something I've thought about. Prefab panels. You buy for 28? You... No, I was making a hefty loss on all of that. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm glad I glad I caught that. You guys, continue to work away. I gotta get the better. I gotta get the better lighting in the shot, right? Just as the sun sets. Late night of working. It's gonna be a late night of working. Thank God that you don't need actual workers to do uh, the excavation and stuff. I guess it's implied that someone drove it over. I guess we don't need workers for these work days. It's just excavators flattening the land and getting all this stuff in place. Concrete needs to come through still. Yeah, once that phase is done, we should be able to work on uh, iron stuff. It's cool to see all the lights moving. It's a it's a full it's a fully bustling like city, you know. Uh, we'll have to add more. Now, some of you were suggesting that we actually make the uh, farm area a bit busier, get some uh, people living in the area, perhaps. I'm not averse to that. Uh, we have currently the livestock farm is doing okay with the kind of uh, traffic it gets. But if we wanted to intensify this, like what other farm kind of stuff could we do is what I was thinking. Like what else could I put out over here? Like I could get another sawmill, another woodcutting post, I suppose. Um... I just don't know what else, uh... Like, is it, is it small town to build cars? I don't think so, right? Another thing I want, some of this stuff. Oh, this is actually tiny. Doesn't cost all that much either. I'd like to get a couple of these done just so I can... Like, this is something I've been ignoring in this game for some reason, is uh, I haven't had the chance to build some of these things that give us more stats and details and information. So let's go ahead and get some pollution monitoring stations down. Why not? While we're waiting for this construction to happen, they're dirt cheap to auto-build. 
932 is not that bad. Uh, let's go ahead and put you right in, like, the thick of it. Just to make sure it doesn't get obnoxious, which it probably already is. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to, I guess, right? But no, let's go ahead and put you right over here. Right next to the power plant. So that way we can justify how bad the readings are by going, Well, it's next to the power plant. Of course it's going to be bad. Right? The right way to do it. Plant you down over here, I guess. Because this road's not going anywhere else. Uh, I guess we could do... Something like that. Go ahead and pay a little bit to flatten it. Sure. Sure. So, yeah, pollution cleans up. Perfect. I got the edge of the map. Like, I got I got the placement basically perfect. Pollution's really bad over here. It's downright atrocious, but it falls off. It's still kind of bad where the bridge is, like in this area. But then, by the time we get to the residential area, the air should be clean. So that's good. Happy to see that. Happy to see that. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we can kind of build in that vein. There's some cool stuff that, that we should have been doing, really. Television station to help with propaganda. We've got the car dealer. i got to actually make cars for that. I can import cars as well. Um, but I'd like to make them. That's under civilian industries or something? Where is it? Uh, engineering industry, sorry. Get the production line, space for vehicles, which is their storage, and the car dealer itself. Now, the production... Vehicle production line needs a lot. We need plastic, mechanical components, electronic components. There's a lot we need. And in fact, on that note, let's go ahead and do engineering. We gotta start. We've been putting this off for so long. Get the research done over here. Lots of professors working on it. That's great. Uh, and then eventually we can start making our own mechanical components as well, because that's something that we are wasting money on. We still import that stuff when it comes time to build stuff. Um... Yeah, yeah, we'll see electronic components. We haven't done any so far this month, but it does it does become kind of hefty. Now, we were in the red for a while there, and I wonder why that is. What did we import so much of? Again, it's the coal and the iron, man. It's killing us. It is killing us. I guess it's just that we hadn't made a, a, a steel run. It's all a matter of the timing of those steel runs. Now, the trains haven't had any trouble, which is good to see. We've been flowing neatly enough. This is... Not making us that much money. Starting to feel like a bit of a waste. But once maybe the iron ore gets added into the mix, it'll be a bit smoother and faster. Looks like construction here is going pretty well. Now we need workers and mechanisms. Okay, but sun has set. Once the sun rises, we'll get those excavators out. And we'll start planting our uh, iron and iron uh, ore processing plant and stuff. Because now we can actually flatten terrain as well. What's the deal over here? Are you making meat? No, you don't have livestock. You don't have livestock because what? Because this guy took all... No, this guy took all your meat... Where's our livestock? Our livestock is coming through, hopefully. We have a lot over here being loaded up to the train right now. That's a lot of livestock being brought over. The thing is, if the train is... If, if the export train is here, then the meat gets picked up right away. Maybe we stop exporting meat. It doesn't make us that much money. We probably end up importing a fair bit as well. Yeah, look at that. We shouldn't have to import. We we spent, uh, let's say three thousand. Let's round it. We spent three thousand, and we made three thousand. That just doesn't make sense. We gotta stop selling meat. No more meat exports. Look at that. All that livestock came through. It all got processed, and it's all over here now. It's all in this train. Gone, just like that. Oh no, last chance to buy this. I've been using these. I like these. <laughs> Damn. It looks like our harvests are well enough timed. Now nobody's working over here right now. What's up with our with our trains? Instantly suspicious. We just have the two passenger trains? This big one. It just dropped off a bunch of people. And this one, that'll drop a bunch off over here. And then drop everybody else off over here. What is taking passengers down to here? Where is that train? There it is. Okay. Okay, I guess I just hadn't seen it in a while. 
I wonder if I can actually expand some of these trains a bit more as well. No need to take uh, too many people down here, but I wonder if... I wonder if they, if, if any of the other trains need more numbers, like this one. Like this one carries 250 people right now, holy crap. I guess I need them all up over here, like between the iron mine and where this bus takes everybody. Yes, it leaves nothing for these guys, though. 67. I guess that's good enough. Alright. Sorry, I said the sun was going to rise and I was going to get to work over here and I, I didn't. I lied. What kind of... What kind of, what kind of uh, leader am I? Alright, let's go ahead and get... Whoops. The iron mine over here. Not paying any money for this, of course. Oh, of course there's a spot where we can just put it down, but it's just off base. Up over here. Flatten the terrain. I think we'll put it down like this. Make for a nicer export line. Right into our processing plant. I think that's the right spot for it. Right, so that would go down over there. Then our processing would be over here. Where's the input? There's the input. Right, so we'd input somewhere like this. We'd flatten this terrain. Of course, we have to. Of course, the road is up there. Why wouldn't it be? So inconvenient. So very inconvenient. I, mean, I could put the processing down over here. One way or another, it's going to be inconvenient. Just trying to figure out which inconvenience I'm more okay with. Because the road has to come up, I could put this down over here. Or you know what I could do is I could get rid of you. I said I could get rid of you. There we go. Put this down like so. Then processing goes up. Okay, fair enough. Put you down like this. Right? Then the processing. We have the road over there. Of course the input is on that side. God damn. Doesn't really work either way. Like, it's not perfect either way. It works both ways. It's not perfect either way is what I mean. Put this over here. Road up there. I can put this over here. No, then the export's all messy. Uh, I guess we'll I guess we'll have to put this like up over here. Have that road go by that way. Yeah, okay, that's not the worst. That's not the worst, sure. We'll do that. Once the sun rises, we'll do that. How's this coming along? Pretty well. We've got people here. We have no concrete, unfortunately. Hopefully someone's bringing concrete. What are you bringing? You don't look like you're bringing concrete. Bringing nothing. Get lost. Waste our time. There we go. There's the concrete I need. We need lots of concrete. We need lots of steel. I'm really hoping that... Uh, get some more of that rolling. This is looking good. Feel good. Very, very, very happy with the steel. I think that single-handedly kind of saved our economy. Alright, anyways, back over here on the topic of steel, let's go ahead and get the processing plant. So as I was as I was saying, I will probably put it down somewhere over here. That way the export lines can connect pretty easily from the mine to the processing plant. All right, so we'd like flatten this area. Go ahead and get the roads in place a little bit. Make it a mud road. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to, there we go, flatten it out and see how this looks. Not auto building, okay, so we've got that. Not straight. Try and straighten out a little bit. Doesn't have to be all on the grid, but just a little bit straighter. Alright, there we go. And then, let's get, oh my god, click on literally everything except for what I need. There we go. So if we put you down up over here. Right, like so. Yeah, I think that should work. Hopefully, the export, um, the exporting conveyor belts fit nicely. Hopefully, so if we drop you over there, okay, then we go ahead and get a mud road, dirt road, mud road. Be a good descent, of course. Go ahead and level terrain average thing over here. Try to flatten this up a little bit. Flatten this up. Words. Wonder if this is too much. 
There we go. Come on. This is still the part of the game that I think kind of actually bugs me, is how difficult laying down road in some cases is. Sometimes I like it. I like when you have to like weave a little bit. It's very, very realistic, uh, you know, when dealing with like mountain paths and stuff. But like this is like the fact that I can't flatten this the way I need to bothers me. Uh, there we go. There's that extra step I needed to do. Nope, still too big a dip. Alright, how about that? You see what I mean? Like, it's just not doing that properly. Now I gotta demolish you. I have to go ahead and I gotta rebuild that. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and take height from center. Let's go ahead and flatten you a bit more. Alright, there we go. That should be good enough, hopefully. Get the iron ore processing plant. Let's get you back into the spot over here. Like so. Yep. Thank God that we're using blueprint mode. Okay, and then you would get down like so. Hopefully we can find a way to, yep, get you down over here. Right. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and pull this out first. Let me get a scent. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're fine. This is fine. You're just complaining for the sake of complaining now. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Game knows what I want to do, and it just doesn't want to do it. it. Wants to fight me on every step. There we go. Let's smooth it out a little bit. Let's smooth it out a little bit. Okay. So many trees being wasted. One way, but not the other. Okay, there we go. Keep you going. Yep. Excellent. Alright, I guess we'll wait for another sunrise. Just gotta plan that out properly. And over here, I think we're almost done. Probably, yeah. Just, uh... Some steel, some concrete, some mechanical components. Do we have any? Yes, we do. We have 20 in stock always. That's the plan. And down over here, how's this construction going? <laughs> Poorly. We seem to have sold away all of our prefab panels again. No, we haven't. Okay. It's just no one's working on that construction site, I guess. No one's assigned? No one's assigned. Okay. That's why. That's fine. That's a lot more of an acceptable reason. Hey, um... I just want to see what the meat situation is, because you're not picking up meat anymore. We have meat, but now, unfortunately, it's not being picked up quickly enough. You picked up how much meat? 6.5 tons. We get topped up right away. The, the problem is that meat storage is a thing now in the game, but when I started my playthrough, it wasn't. And as a result of that, there's this perfectly viable solution to the problem I have that I don't have room for because I never built for it. Now, granted, with the new technology, you have to do some changes. However, it's just not ideal. Like, I could put one down, like, over here or something and have a truck deliver it. Like, that's always an option. This is a bit of a bother as well. Every time, like, a delivery happens and a bu the buses get stuck back there, that's a problem. Uh, but no, hold on. I digress. One, I wonder if there is some solution there to that meat problem because otherwise we're, we're still wasting time otherwise. Anyway, back to here. Let's get this mud road... Beautiful little curve, I think. This is too sharp. Perfect little... The road will be green again. Right, perfect little, like, shape. Oh, that does look beautiful, doesn't it? Okay, good stuff. So, you come through, you come through. You end up over here. Maybe the bus stop is, like, somewhere over here. Like, if I go ahead and put down a bus stop somewhere over here. And people will get out. Uh, we have a sidewalk that'll connect people to up over here, make it easier for them to get there a little bit faster. Okay, go ahead and cancel the road over here. And get the bus stop. Nope, oh, cancel a bit more, I guess. Almost perfect. Can't build it to infrastructure. Say that. Oh, there we go. So, make sure this is quote unquote perfect. Okay, there we go. You know what? I think I want to shift it over a bit more. The mud road out. Get the bus stop. Like here, can we? I 
go through the infrastructure. How about... No, I guess we gotta go all the way back over to here. Fair enough. Not the end of the world. Pretty cool. Alright. So, our construction offices will eventually deal with this. Get this bus stop built. And from here as well, we want to get the footpath set up. I mean, this we can make out of... What is this? Gravel, I guess. I want to try and make this neat. You know what I mean? Like, I just want things to look really good sometimes. This is one of those times. Could loop you over like that completely. A nice little shape there. And get you connected like so. Come on, are you kidding me? Come on. This is the other stuff that really bothers me. I'm not super neurotic, but like sometimes, like this is just, come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, this is fine though. I like this. I'm happy with this shape. I'm happy with this bus stop location. Uh, good setup over here. Let's go ahead and get the, um, before we get too excited, the conveyor belt system figured out. This is too sharp, but we can get up to this one. All right, easy enough connection. This one will be a bit of a, not a problem, but a couple steps. We got to get you down and over and down. That's what we got to do with you. Easy enough, though. Easy enough. Just got to get those conveyor belts set up. And you got to rejig this system over here as well. Uh, for which I'll have to break the coal connection. I don't want to do the coal stuff until after this processing plant is completely built. Steel delivery is arriving. That is a lot of steel. That's probably where most of the expense of this construction comes from. And I am so glad that I'm not doing it anymore. Much prefer building ourselves. Now, many months have passed, actually. Uh, last month was a bit of a bit of a bummer. Look at that. Almost 100k. We'd be at 1.3 if we hadn't imported any coal last uh, last month. That's crazy to think about. Ridiculous to think about. And here are these guys. You see, this is what I mean. These guys are just lazing about. They're not doing anything. The other option, of course, is to have more trucks making more deliveries. Hang on a second. Where the hell is my other truck? I know I had two. Where where'd you go? There you are. Now see, I know I have two. Why are they why aren't they all listed? It's so weird. Oh, because you go to the cargo train station. That's why. Which I guess is easier. Okay. Okay, that's fine. No, I don't care that it's two different ways of doing it, as long as it gets done. My problem is this. When this kind of like bottleneck happens. So yeah, let's go ahead and go ahead and put that in there. There we go. Get rid of that. So from the next step onwards, they'll be going to the slaughterhouse directly instead. And then to the shopping center. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, that works for me. I mean, and again, I, I could just add more. Because look, we're already topped up. We have so much livestock here. And now more livestock is arriving. I mean, this is, this is a great problem to have. Don't get me wrong. We are actually full up on livestock. So yes, let's go ahead and get some more trucks delivering me a little bit faster. And also, happy new Jesus <laughs> these days last a long time uh where are we? refrigeration refrigeration there we go year happy new year there it is go ahead and get two of you all right go ahead and get you it's it was all a matter of timing timing was the problem here all right because this was stealing all of the meat that was the issue. So let's get you, you start over here, right? And you go down over here. And we'll give it a minute, maybe, and then send this one off. Give it some time, at least. Maybe that's enough time. Where is that truck? Yep. So you, then you over here, and then you'll go up over here. Or is there another location that might need it? I think this is the right one. Let's go. Okay. So now hopefully these guys are not suffering from a lack of eating meat. And hopefully we don't have to keep buying meat. 
So what I'd like to do is minimize all of these expenses. Clothes as well. We shouldn't be buying clothes. We should be delivering clothes here. And I want to have these problems flagged if they are problems. You know what I mean? And I think I need to solve this. I think I need to solve this urgently. Got more food and clothes coming down over there. Because we are at a bare minimum over there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Who and why is food not coming here? You bring food and clothes. We're coming down here with food and alcohol. I guess clothes just get exported out before they can get brought over to here. Now granted, we're not spending that much on clothes, so maybe we keep buying, maybe we keep the purchase plan alive here for clothes. But food, food I expect to be self-sufficient about. Like my, oh, you know what, to hell with it. Let's go ahead and do that. Because in my head, I guess that way, when deliveries arrive, they arrive and at least food is happening here. Uh, and when they don't arrive, people aren't starving. That would be a problem. Uh, looks like, okay, so sport is a bit of a problem. Everyone's got food and meat. Kindergarten's a bit of a problem, but we are trying to solve that. Lots of workers without jobs. A couple in here. Okay. Sickness. Well, we gotta get this hospital done. Okay, so looking like food... ...is solved. We do need to get another pub out, I guess. What's wrong with you? Oh, you're not able to get meat... ...or food. I guess these shopping centers are too far away for you. I'm supposed to have a bus take people over to there. I know that. I know I have. Oh god! I wish these were organized based on based on the kind of vehicle they were as well. Yeah, you're a bus. You should be bringing people over. Let's see where are you? you're over here. Okay, I'm gonna follow this bus real quick. Pick up a bunch of passengers, right? You're gonna make your way over. You're gonna drop people off over here. And they should go in there. Right? They get dropped off in here, and hopefully they pick up everything they need. I, I guess that's just it. It's not enough of anything. It's not enough people going often enough, so maybe I need another shopping center over here. God knows we can probably sustain it, right? This day's topped up on meat and food. Wow, that has a lot of- how does this have all the food? Whereas this is like getting none of it. There was a delivery right now. We can barely drop off all the alcohol, we've got so much. We got so much alcohol, we barely got food. Like, what, what is this, the Soviet Republic? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Um, alright, damn it, I didn't get back there before the sunset. We'll start at setting. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. Do I want to get the conveyor belt system set up now? No. I want to deal with coal later. Let's go ahead and get the road set up, though. So, some of the construction offices will assign themselves over here, and they'll get to work. So, let's go ahead and get you... God damn it. Oh. I can barely see. Which is why I'm so hesitant. Because I imagine you guys can see even less. Because I, I soup up the, uh... The, uh... Gamma and contrast and stuff on this computer. A little bit when I'm recording. Um, well, okay, I make it sound like it's super exaggerated. It's not. But, you know, I know it's not the standard level. Okay. Uh, you know what? Even I can't see. Go ahead and do that. We'll wait until the next day morning. That was last month. Okay. Last year we made a quarter of a mil, almost. This year, we'll see we can, if we can beat that. That's the goal, right? Year upon year improvements. Gotta make the uh, investors happy. It's just in our case, the investors are people. Okay, over to here, let's say roughly, just to get a rough idea. And this is where the connection can be from. But flatten this out a little bit. We could straighten the road out over here, right? We can do something like this. Flatten you out. Oh, come on. Come on, you know you want to join. You know you want to work. Okay. Step at a time. There we go. And... There we go, I'll take it. Right, so something like that. This is all connected now, so, I mean, the construction offices might actually start working on these, which I wouldn't complain about at all. Uh, if I assign them, they certainly will. And I think I can. 
Or like if I go ahead and say, hey you, you're gonna work on this and this as well. Road connection doesn't exist. Of course it does. We got oh, it's because of this. Okay. Fair enough. Just wanna get it all going, you know? You know it's gonna make some progress. Also wanna turn off the wireframe. There we go. This is almost done though. So a little bit of steel, maybe like two shipments of steel left. A lot. Holy crap, we are actually above capacity, it looks like. Also, uh, yeah, to, to those of you in the comments that were wondering, I, I know that I can click on the little plus here to see all of the individuals uh, and exactly like how long they've been at work, how long they still have left in their work day, uh, you know, what their needs and wants and stuff are, and the fact that we have professors working at, an, at a steel mill when there's a perfectly good university down here that could use some more professors, but no. Oh, hey, advanced engineering? Sure, let's go for it, maybe. That research ended really quickly. Can't complain about that. So we'll do this. We should be able to start making our own mechanical components and stuff soon. I want to make sure we can get plastics going soon as well. I got a big game. I mean, there's a, there's a long time before this can happen, right? Like, plastics. Plastics. Uh, we need oil and stuff for that. Now, plastics factory we can already build, actually. We have chemicals. Oil is, you know, I mean, it's not that expensive, but at that quantity, it'll be a bit of a problem. We need a lot more chemicals. We need a lot more chemical plants. I think having the one is not enough. We need more chemical plants. And we need more people working them. This one over here, that's a concrete plant. This one over here gets all of its goods delivered to it, right? Yep. Gravel, it drops in over here. Okay, so I wonder if we can add another chemical plant like somewhere up over here or two more or something. Because that way we can keep the chemicals flowing for both our fabric as well as, uh, you know, plastics when the time comes. On which note, how's this going? Okay, we've got chemicals here. There goes all the fabric. Now we don't have chemicals anymore. You're headed over. We're loading up, okay. You know what, let's go ahead and set this to 50%. So as soon as it's done, it'll head over, and we'll get another T-148. Do the same. Where are we? Go ahead and purchase. Covered hull T-138. T-148, sorry, it's literally right there. Or I could get the V-3S. It's cheaper, it takes less chemicals, but that means it'll be moving faster. So we have one that does quick deliveries and one that does slow deliveries, I suppose. Go ahead and copy your schedule over to this buddy over here. Thank you very much. Let's get you going. Let's hurry it up. We gotta make these chemi chemical uh, deliveries faster. Is this stagnation? I think that's what's costing me. It's a stagnation of clothing exports. Like, let's take a look here, right? So our export of resources clothes this month. 26 tons last month. Are you serious? Are you serious? We exported no clothes last month. That's really bad, folks. That's really bad. November. Oh my god. No way. This doesn't make any sense. All the way back in October was the last time we exported clothes. Jeez, that is not good. That makes a huge difference. A huge difference. This is a big problem. This is a huge problem. New cars have arrived. Yeah, we need to solve this ASAP. Um, we we'll purchase some chemicals. Got to keep this flowing. Oh, hold on a second. Keep you topped up. Chemicals there. That's fine. I always, uh, I've, I've started to mix up the auto and the manual. Okay. This is almost done. Just a handful of days left. A little bit of steel left. Good. There's one delivery. Second delivery coming through. One good spots to, there's like multiple spots to drop it off. I do also need to get, I think, more people arriving over here. We can get more people working over there. I wonder if...
Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. Or do I get a personal vehicle to do it instead? This is what, it's 15 people, I think? Yeah, 15 people. I get a, like a minibus. I get a minibus going from this bus stop, I suppose. Really not all that full, actually. Get a minibus going from this bus stop. It's There's a constant flow of people here. So from there, it would have to go all the way up here, around this way. It's not too bad. And when it's training over from here, you get dropped off here and sent over. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad, right? Yeah, just gotta make sure it's got a capacity of at least 15. Almost done here, folks. Almost done. Go ahead and figure out what bus will take. 32... Hmm. I don't want to overdo it. Where is it? Bus. Alright. Don't want to underdo it either. 752. I guess we take the one that's 32. Worst case scenario, some of the extras end up elsewhere. So you will start over here. And over here. Building's not finished. That's okay. Done soon. Very soon. Just need people who are arriving right now. There we go. Yeah, it's good to know that as soon as people are needed, the bus is able to bring people. 79 being dropped off. Still needs quite a few work days. Almost done, though. And this month has been... Yeah, we made money last month. We made money. That's what matters. Well, we... I think we kind of stagnated this session in terms of uh, our wealth. Well, this is only at a certain distance, I suppose, that happens. A specific distance. Um, but yeah, we've we, we, we kind of stagnated. Okay, good to see, though, that uh, this construction project is being worked on while we're waiting. Both of these construction projects. And this is what I mean we need to do more of, is multitask a little bit. Accomplish multiple things um, as we wait. And there you have it. The plant has been completed. So you can add this, and we can begin... We need to go ahead and we're going to auto-build these. So fund that. Um, would like to make sure that we specifically build this one and not this one. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and cancel this just in case. We're going to do that. There we go. Man, that's expensive. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. I just realized, yeah, you have power. You're getting coal ore. Excellent. You have no workers. That's okay. They should be arriving soon. No, you're empty. No, I don't need you empty. I need you full of people. God damn. So otherwise, no one's going to end up over here. We need more workers coming over here. You know what I could do, actually, is with you... Like, having people dropped off directly there is convenient, but if I have them dropped off here, they would split. They would also split between these two. I don't need that distraction. I don't need that distraction. Go ahead. It's not a very long drive. It's a matter of getting here when there are passengers to pick up. When's the next train coming? Soon. Soon, but we're leaving right now. I just want to see one cycle of this complete. Because otherwise we're uh, you're in trouble if this doesn't work properly. There's There it is. A bunch of people arrive. Right, this bus is just left empty. Unfortunately for it, 111 people waiting. There's our vehicle over there. 111 people still waiting. Another train comes through. Two trains about to come through. And drop a bunch off for us. Second train arrives. 123 people waiting now. Oh, Jesus, 151. In comes the first bus. A bunch of them have just left to go to the steel mill. This bus comes through. Picks almost everybody up. This train needs to make it here. Ah, nope. That bus is just going to pick up three people. I see this isn't good. Back over there. Okay, good. So this time around, we're actually going to pick up some people. Yeah, I just need to sort, sort this out. It's all coming from a very concentrated place is the thing. That's that's the problem with having one hub for distribution because people don't actually have jobs. They don't have jobs. They have, uh... They just get on to the nearest 
uh, transportation vehicle, I suppose. Oh wow, this stuff is actually going to get done. It's being worked on right now as we speak. That's cool. Because, I mean, that's done. This, no one's assigned, but, you know, we could be working on it as well. Would you look at that? We've got coal. We've got, hopefully, extra coal. You struggle to meet the demands, but you're here to hopefully help sustain this nonsense. And worst case scenario, we can build another one over here, clear out some of this track, build another one over here, and continue this train connection to the central area where we will, uh, you know, spread it out from. And this is done. Well, this isn't done, actually. And we've already started working on our, on our uh, iron project. So I'm feeling pretty good, folks. This is where we're going to call it a session. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like and a comment down below letting me know that you would like to see more Workers and Resources Soviet Republic on this channel. Uh, really cool to see our city expanding. We're actually going... Uh, just, I, this is why I always try and end the episode at the same spot is because then we can see afterwards how we've grown over the many episodes. I think it's fun to kind of keep a track of that kind of stuff. Anyway, sorry, got distracted there with my outro. Uh, as always... A massive thanks does go out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You guys are awesome. You keep us alive and running smoothly. I greatly appreciate it. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.